I broke my camera. Morning good people, it is Monday here in Dublin town. It is very bright lights in my face until the uh, camera adjusts to the uh, daylight. It is, yes, it is the track fest week starting today and um, it's going to be a busy week. Um, it's going to be kind of ups and downs weeks. So like a few days are a little bit slower. Some days are really, really busy. So I'm looking forward to the week, but I'm also, um, it's the week four of 2017. And last week I had a really good week and a productive week. And it kind of made me refocus a lot of what I want to be doing and even more so how much of it I want to be doing. So this week is going to be real, real crunch, hustle, get it done kind of week. We're going to start off with uh, churning out the vlogs um, for most of the week. Um, so which means that a lot of it is just office work, work uh, grinding it on the Final Cut Pro, which is what I use for it and uh, which I really enjoy using because uh, it ha it's I'm, I'm good enough at it that this this day that I can do it fast on Final Cut Pro, whereas uh, all the other ones I tried, they just don't do it for me. Um, I know some of you are going to disagree with me, and I'm perfectly happy with that. You use whatever works for you. What else? What else? What else? As I said before, and as I kind of uh, posted on uh, Instagram on a couple of things, uh, we're in the beginning of the year, but we're a couple of weeks into it already now, and a good three weeks behind us. You know, whatever it is that you kind of had in mind for this year, um, it's good time to kind of sit back and have a look at it. Like, okay, have I done anything about it? Have I made any steps towards it? Um, am I moving on closer to my goal? You know, refocus on that and get back on track and make sure that you know that whatever it is you're going after in 2017, you, you're taking steps towards it. You know. And I keep on taking those steps, you know, because it's, you know, like every mounting, it's one step at a time. It's, you know, it's, you just got to keep on doing it. And, and especially this time of the year, it's easy to lose focus on those things. So just stay focused, keep on doing, go and go after your dreams. And that's what I'm just about to do by sitting in the office and start grinding on the uh, vlogs. You know, it's one vlog at a time, one clip at a time. And that's all it is. So, right, let's get this week started. And yeah, I also need more coffee. Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, how are you all doing? How's things? And uh, that is the third vlog up uploaded today. Crushing it, crushing it, and delighted with it. But now I gotta go and do something else. I have a bit of an issue, and I'm gonna have to show it to you on the other camera. You're not gonna like this one, guys. You're not gonna like this one. Okay, this is gonna be a bit hard to show you guys, but uh, you know my trusty Canon G7X, the first model of this camera, which has served me so damn well. You see, I still use this probably more than any other camera because it fits in my pocket. I can whip it out whenever I want. I do more of this kind of uh, sit down and talk to you guys vlogs on, on the Canon 70D or if I want like the sound to be really really good quality it, it's much better with the 70D. Pixel quality is better uh, but what's really killer on this one is two things image stabilization and uh, low light is just a killer. About two three months ago I did drop it um, I've dropped it several times, but like I did drop it, like probably bounced off the ground, and it got a one tiny crack just here on the on the screen, like from here to here. Not not any big deal or anything like that. Then last week earlier on, it was in my pocket and it wasn't really pressed anything, but it, whatever way it, it must have pressed and it got another crack. Today I put it on where I usually keep the stuff. I put it on top of the uh, on my office, and for some reason. I don't know. Did I put it on the edge too much or did it slide afterwards? I have no idea. I'm usually very, very conscious where I put them. I just hear this big bang and it felt like, it, you know, it, it fell from like a meter and a half all the way down the ground and it landed on the screen. So I don't know if you can see it properly here, but there's like this cr little cracks all over the screen now. Like it's, it's nasty. It's, I don't know if... Uh, the thing is that the screen still works. Uh, my problem is that I can feel the glass is kind of coming off a little bit. So 
first of all, I don't want to cut myself, but second of all, like, as soon as the glass is off, it's not protecting us the screen, and the screen is going to be damaged very, very fast, and then it'll be absolutely useless. So I'm going to go, there's a uh, place called Cons Cameras here in Dublin who does Canon service. I'm going to go and ask them, can this be fixed? If it can be fixed, how much would it cost? Is it worth the while fixing? I mean, this has been such a great camera to have around. I bought it secondhand. It served me well over a year. It's filmed, I think it's filmed close enough now to, uh, you know, 400 vlogs soon. So, amazing camera. Like, and, and I got such a great value out of it. So, even if it ends up being the end of that camera, I still think I've got so much value out of it. It's ridiculous. But, I'd like to get it fixed because I really don't have money to buy another on-the-go camera. Having said that, I'm going to turn this a little bit of a camera talk very, very quickly. The new Canon EOS M5 apparently is amazing. Apparently its image stabilization is even better than on this. Now it doesn't have... The, the actual lens that comes with it or the, the kit lens that comes with it is not as low light good as, as this one is but um, the thing is that you can get adapters and you can put any kind of lens basically into it but uh yeah don't know um very very tempted on it but it, the price of it is still very very high a bit out of my reach um the thing is that if i would would go buy another one of these which would be the mark ii i would spend as much on that as i would uh well I would spend enough money that it would then validate for me to actually save a little bit longer and get the the, the next one if, if it is that much better. So I might have a look at them in the shop as well. I don't know. I feel a bit devastated about this one. But at the same time, as I said, you know, it's a workhorse. Um, if this didn't have a sooner, happen sooner or later, no matter how well you take care of your equipment, if you film as much as I do, which is I film every single day, all the time, there's bound to be some damage. But we'll go and see. Let's hope for the best. Talk to you guys in a bit. Nine long years we lived on a promise of hope We worked so hard, did our best to cope It wasn't much Okay guys <sighs> This silly screen, to get this silly cracked screen Which is pretty shattered actually I fixed Due to the fact that it's only cosmetic work 230 euros which is not the worst part it's not really worth it because I don't know what's gonna break next because this camera is getting old so I don't know how long the autofocus is getting slow and a few other things are gonna gonna go a bit arse way so the worst part is that it, I would have to give it away for four weeks which you know you go you guys know how much I use my camera so that would be not be an option at all in any under any circumstances the new version of this the mark 2 which is uh, in the shops at the moment. Uh, it's about 700 quid. Ah. And the M5 is like 1300 euros. Now it does come with the lens and it does come with the adapter for the uh, Canon lenses as well, all the rest of the Canon lenses. So that's good, but it's still way too much money for to me to spend right now. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I don't know, figure out something else. I'm annoyed about it, but it's my own fault. Um, I'm not going to dwell on it because I don't think that's going to do anything good. Uh, I'm all about trying to find a solution how to get on with this. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something. But that's where we're standing at the moment. If you've got a Canon G7X, try not to drop it. It's going to be an expensive drop. <laughs> Talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, uh, it's time to head to the porterhouse. It's cold enough to day out there, but uh, it'll be lovely. Um, it's... First session of the week, and I'm uh, looking forward to it. So let's go and do this. I'm gonna grab something to eat as well there. I'm starving now. Yeah.
Oh, she got some bitch. dreams down in the ground. There's nothing left without her around. Say we're lucky to be born in these times. I guess luck is hard to define. They say we're lucky to fight this good fight. But they never seem to be the ones to cry. They say we're lucky to be born in these times. I guess luck is hard to define. They say we're lucky. To fight this good fight But they never seem to be the ones to cry They never seem to be the ones to cry